continues on and on. Um, it's really interesting to me that these guys came in with the Ryukins and I quarantined them with the Ryukins and I treated treated them with Prazi because they had flukes and then all of a sudden boom one of them popped up with an anchor worm and I had separated them out plucked that one did a lice treatment and then uh, I well, I had a crap load of hours I was working, and I don't think when I did the tank again, I retreated with the lice one because I was doing prosy. And now all of a sudden, boom. They are covered in anchor worms again. All those red spots uh, have these tiny little hair strings hanging out of them. And so... When I thought plucking that one and then the salt bath and treating them and killed it off, it hadn't. And in the three days that I was just basically feeding because I worked so much, they got overtaken by parasites again. So the fight keeps going on and on and on. I'm going to have to do a salt bath, uh, pluck all of the anchor worms I can find and start retreating these guys for anchor worm. So that's what's going on in this tank. Absolutely just, I worked 312s. I've said that a couple times now, worked 312s. I moved these guys in here because I was treating the other guy with nitroferrin. And so the anchor worm has made a vicious comeback in the coast gem tank. But I go and do my health check and visual on these guys and all three of them have lice. So you look at that right there, that red spot, that's a lice. Right on there, her red spot, you can't, it's hard for you to see, she won't hold still. But that's a lice hanging right there, she's got one down here, he's got one on him. So I, I took three days of break because I was working 12s in a row and was sick and I have one tank covered in anchor worm in that three days and one tank covered in lice in that day. All because of these imports I added in at the same time. It's so frustrating. So. I'm going to be doing a salt bath on these guys, plucking these guys off, retreating these guys. That means I'm a little concerned with him. You know that one that one fin, the redness was looking a lot better. But it's kind of also been necrotic where it was really severely red, but it hasn't spread. I don't like doubling meds, but I think I've got I don't it's just so frustrating. So, so kind of an update on this guy. Um, the redness has dissipated some. He really, I think he got some pretty good ammonia burn because he's got some black marks heat forming on his fins that look like healing. I did add Prozzi because he does have some what looks like damage spots on the tail and they're white circles and a lot of times that can be mistaken for ick but ick is like a salt grain it sits above the fish it's not part of the fish it's not attached to the fish and damage you can tell that's a part of the fish and he has some little spotty damages that make me think he might have flukes along with the redness so He's, but he's more active. As you can see, he's not bottom sitting as bad. And I do feel like the redness is going away a little bit. It's going to take quite a bit of time. But definitely more active. So I did, I was just going to do fresh water changes for a while. But I did add some Prozzi because I'm afraid he does have 
some flukes possibly with those spots on his tail. I wish I could get a good picture, but you can kind of just see these white round marks on the tail there. So he definitely needs some TLC. Need some closer monitoring for now.